Hey folks, it's Adewale here again. And today I'd just like to share with you my best frameworks for speed writing articles. And again, just before we dig into this, you already would have heard by now that we are running a framework mastery challenge where we are teaching people from knowing nothing at all about frameworks to becoming masters of being able to create frameworks to create different writing AI-based tools for their business. So if you're interested in joining that mastery challenge, we are currently at 70, last time I checked, <laughs> we're currently at 73 members and we're waiting to be 100 members and then we're going to run the challenge. So if you're interested in joining now, I would say hurry up and join because there's still 30 slots available for a discount. Uh, 20 of that has been grabbed already. So if you are interested, yep, just use the link in the description below to join. So to today's video, we are looking at my best frameworks for speed writing articles. Now, in reality, there's quite a lot of frameworks in the community now, even my frameworks, there are loads and loads of frameworks. So if you go into the frameworks, uh, into the community and you're thinking what frameworks sh should I choose, it can be really daunting and confusing. So what I've done is I've now collected all the frameworks that I use that I know give me good quality output very fast. I've collected them together and actually placed them in the launch pad. Most of them, I have some of these already in my art my framework document which you you should get when you sign up for it if you want to but as another option what i've done is just put them in the launch pad and those of you who are familiar with most ai systems you just go and log in and you just great go straight away to the different types of contents you want to write so like a title headline body contents you just go straight to that and that makes it easy to just think, okay, I want to write an article, log in, start writing. Whereas sometimes with closest copy, it may take you a while to get to that point of start writing. And it's one of the reasons I believe Nicole created the Launchpad to just make it easy for people to just launch different tools within closest copy that they want to use. So what I've done here is I've gathered all the frameworks that I use for writing how-to articles, list post articles, question-based articles, SEO friendly articles and ultimate guide articles. I believe that all if, if this sort of covers any kind of articles you like to write, you just have to be a bit creative with the way you do it. So just kind of, I'm just going to run through each of the article types quickly. So the article, I think I did a video recently on the article. So it starts off with a topic generator. So you could come in here and if you don't know what topic to write about, you you can actually just brainstorm your topics with this and. From the topic generator, you put the, what, the words or the keywords into your headline generator, get your headlines out. And from that, you create your introduction and then start to discuss. And so with the discussion, we've got a number of different types of tools where you discuss problems and solution. You, use, you can use parables and stories to explain things. And I like this particular one, this explanation, which just takes a very complex topic and gives you a good explanation from top to bottom. So if it was a novice reading the explanation, they'll be able to know exactly what you're explaining. It's explained in so simple terms, although it's a complex thing. And then you go to your conclusion. So you go to your conclusions. Now I've tried to order it in a good order of where you just come in and just go from top to bottom, but it's not been so easy to do that, to do that yet. And I don't think Nico has given us the ability to move things around in the launch pad yet. So once that is done, I probably will be able to move things around because it took me a while to just put the, the frameworks together in this launch pad. So that's how to articles. Then the list post articles has a similar process as well. You've got generator topics, have a list post headline. And with this one, I actually have an enticing list post infuser. So in other words, it takes the headline and just makes the, give you a, a list, a set of list posts and just makes them sound more interesting. You get your introduction done. And then what you now have is different types of list posts. So if you 
your list was about discussing tips or ways of doing something. Could be like warning signs for doing something. Could be steps to do some things or different tools that you might use to do something. So this gives you a quick way of just banging out an outline based on the, these different types of list posts. And then you've got some frameworks here to just quickly either give instructions or answer questions quickly and then and expand on top points that you're making. So once that just gives you everything you really need to complete a list post. And once you've done that, I often like to go about with each list post subheading and create nice enticing subheadings just to keep people glued to the page and reading on. Then you finish up with your different types of conclusions you've got here. Okay, so that's the list post. Then I also got the question-based article. Now, the way I like to think of question-based articles is that it starts with a question. Could still really be a how-to article or a list post or an ultimate guide article, but it starts with a question. And so we start here with common questions people ask about a topic. So if you have your topic already, you just put in here the common questions people ask and you've got different kinds of introductions that you could create. I've made this one a more SEO relevant so that when you come in here and you're answering, you're, you're filling in the, you're using the different tools, it's giving you more content that will stick with keywords that people are expecting to find with that article so that the search engines can favor your article more. So we've got the daily different tools and I ask me questions and then introduct us uh, intros. I know I put the intro at the bottom here, but again, once Nico gives us the chance of moving things around, I can move it to the top. And they have it with the question based articles. And then the final two here, one that is really just SEO focused. I like to sometimes write articles that are not really related to SEO focus, trying to get grab SEO keywords. Because sometimes it puts me a different frame of mind because I'm actually just thinking sometimes of people who are looking for in-depth content, but there's some people who are looking for the how to easy answers, fast answers to questions. Some people are wanting a bit more than that. So sometimes I would write SEO articles, sometimes I wouldn't. So for those who are wanting to write SEO articles, the SEO friendly launchpad suffice for that. So you've got all the different things you would need to use, types of content you write around SEOs, like signs of a problem or warning signs that a problem exists, what causes a problem, why do things happen, what an answer to a question. So these are just useful for SEO style writing. And then we've got the ultimate guide. Again, you've got your topic generator. And with the ultimate guide, I like to have the like big idea outlines just to help make sure that because it's a very long piece of content, you can veer off, offline, you can off topic. So you use the out outline to create an idea of the pathway you're going to be taking the, the reader and use the big idea. So you create a big idea, from big idea, you create your outline and then you create your introduction, then develop your big idea. So once you have your outline, the outlines themselves will have their own big ideas. Each subheading will have its own big idea and you use that. Then you get into discussing the different points, whether you're exploring some obstacles, the mistakes people make, the myths that are in within your niche that you're writing around. Or that you're using parables and, and metaphors to explain things. Again, there's that explanation thing here. And if you notice that sometimes that I would use the same two across different launch pads because I found that too particularly useful. So this one will help you change a person's belief. You're trying to move someone from believing one thing to another. This can be quite helpful. So you've got all these different tools for your it guide articles. So to just get access to the, these tools, I don't believe the launchpads have a link yet. So all you just do is come into your closest copy account, look for that thing that looks like a, I'm thinking it looks like a jet. I may be wrong, but it looks like a jet. And you click on that. When you click on that, it brings up this launchpad. But to populate your launchpad with different launchpads, you click on the 
two people symbol there and it pulls out the launch pad and all you just do is do a search look for my name that that don't there are many launch pads there yet so it shouldn't be too difficult so you look for my name and all the ones with my name at the moment are the articles that i just described now and that's all you have to and that's all you have to do once you you have that all you just do is log into your Closescopy account and just walk through and bang within if closest copies generation generation is not too slow you can easily just bang out your articles within five minutes five minutes you're done 10 minutes you're done depending on the speed at which the closest copy gives you the content and now because these frameworks they've been optimized and they're quite effective they should make it very easy for you to write articles that you want to write very fast okay so that's all from me today and i hope this is something that you would find very useful and again Please join us in our framework challenge for if you are in, in a place where you are ready, understand how to make the best use of Cruises Copy to make your business flourish. Let's join us in the link below and hopefully see you then. Bye.